Pueblo in so many ways represents the cultural richness of Colorado as a, a crossing point, as an international boundary. It's drawn people together uh, from very diverse perspectives over time. I can't imagine when a train pulled in with new immigrants and they got off in this area, what it must have been like for them. Our history is how we have united despite all the reasons to be divided. We have found a way to find common purpose. American Indians, Hispanos, explorers, uh, soldiers, farmers, miners, railroad men have all come to this spot, have all called it home, and have all had to work together in order to succeed. History is really complicated. All history is really complicated. There are so many things that run through it. There's race, there's class, there's gender, there's politics. In a short order, they heard the screams, the hollering and shooting coming from the trading post. Conflict, warfare, trade, it has uh, already existed here in Pueblo, and Pueblo is almost a crossroads. Pueblo's history is very complex. When we're speaking about all of the tribal nations, and then we have the countries that claim this area as well. CFNI clearly drove the economy of Pueblo and the economy of the entire state of Colorado. People came to Pueblo to work. They came to work in the coal mines, they came to work in the steel mills, and this is some of the most dangerous labor even today. You can't ignore the conflicts that have occurred, but you take the good with the bad. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're still, we're still making history and there's still a lot of stories in the making.